Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up your keyboard and mouse on the RPCS3 emulator. So this is the same for if you've got it set up on Linux or Windows. This isn't a RPCS3 setup video. This is just how to configure a keyboard and mouse so you can use it. So it's a keyboard and mouse setup video. Okay, so what you want to do to be able to set it up, go to pads and select whatever controller you want to essentially do. Go to the handler, go to keyboard, and then we can start mapping it. And pretty simple stuff. What I'm going to do is do some default mapping. I'm going to change that up. So what you do is click on the key, then you press something on the keyboard with your mouse. So I press up. So I'm going to use the left analog stick to move around with the D pad. Well, no, with the D pad, with the arrow keys on my keyboard. And we play Minecraft. So oh, let's do that. will be there. R2, which is for mining, so I'll do that one. Placing, yeah. And so, start will be that. I'll do escape as I've just done it as the key below, you know, escape for select. And what else? So, okay, so what we want to do is also the right analog stick, and we need to configure these as well. So, I'm doing the number pad for these, but feel free to configure it however you want. There's also dead zone and mouse acceleration. I'll recommend checking this out and configuring this, but what you want to do is play it and tweak it depending on that. And what I'll do is I'll link this page from the official RPCS3 wiki, and it, sh it, it tells you how to actually set up the mouse controls anyway. But what I want you to take a look at is this stuff regarding the dead zone stuff, so because Console games are designed with a game controller in mind. As a result, a mouse, even though you can map it, may not you know, feel natural. That's the reason you want to tweak these. But again, you'll probably want to add a different profile depending on the game because you know you might want a slightly different acceleration, different dead zone, different stick interpolation, that sort of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use the right analog stick to actually you know look around. So to do that, it's if I click on oh, this is just open the level close if i click on this and i move my mouse up i'm moving the as you can see nothing is happening so why is nothing happening what you need to do is when you click on it press the left mouse button again but keep it pressed and then move up so keep it pressed move up there we go keep it pressed you should be able to hear the mouse i'll move you a little closer to the mic so hopefully you can hear it keep it pressed move left Key press move right and that's it so you can obviously map the mouse to any key you want i haven't fully mapped all the keys this is just for testing make sure you click save very important little bit there and now let's launch up minecraft and demonstrate it working Okay, so I'm using the, let me just turn the volume down. So I'm using the keyboard, which will open now. So this is the number pad, this is the arrow key, which is the left analog stick, which also works. And I'm using the mouse currently, but let me get into a game. So yeah, it's almost done now, and then I'll show you it working. So I've moved, so I'm moving backwards and forwards, and I'm jumping uh, with the control button. That's what I've mapped it to. So as you can see, we would realistically need. Uh, we need to tweak this a bit. If we go back to here. Let's go to pads and let's go to mass acceleration. 
turn actually let me try one other thing i want to go to configuration input output go to no for the mouse handler yeah it still works the same way so yeah that's what i would recommend is going full screen so you can actually properly move left and right and but as you still see still very slow so let's tweak it a bit yes i think if we do this to 15 and so i multiply that by what 7.5 multiply this by 7.5 so what we're gonna guess 17 and a half 18.75 I just want to keep the same ratio going so yeah oh, so that's a lot better moving now so I'm gonna make this full screen so there we go so yeah we got the mouse working and I honestly works pretty darn well it's a bit laggy at the moment just because I'm recording but that shouldn't be a problem for you depending on what computer you have and obviously feel free to mess around with the dead zone, the what well, options are there here? So we have acceleration, dead zone, stick interpolation. Feel free to mess around with that. Okay, so we press escape. Okay, so it doesn't seem to like using escape for the pause. So for the start button, let me tweak that. So if we go to pads, and it says escape, I'm going to click enter. Did I map circle? Oh, I forgot to map circle. I can't go back. Uh, <laughs> circle, why circle? Circle is a C at the moment. C. So yeah, obviously I'll be increasing sen sensitivity by a fair bit. So it, it so it is. It it works better at full screen, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's a lot better now. Mm, there we go. Okay, so that is it. And I'm gonna click save. going to minimize this this again a bit disorienting okay so that is it. that's how you map your keyboard and mouse to the you know so you can use it on the rpcs3 emulator which is the playstation 3 emulator so work on linux and windows same process if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video